So a while back I did a video on trying to get started on reading comic books regularly. And while I touched upon the aspect of going digital, I only really scratched the surface. I mostly discussed how to get comics from a place like Comixology, a cloud-based service that requires you to have an account with them. But DRM-free comics are becoming more and more popular every day. And since you're probably getting a tablet or smartphone this holiday season, I figured now would be a good time to add to our little digital primer so you get the most out of your holiday gift. Let's begin. So before we get into DRM Free Comics, I figured we should talk about what you should be reading these on. I didn't mention it before, but what device you read your comics on is actually pretty important. Now let's just get out of the way. Forget about reading comics on a laptop or desktop computer. The experience is just not worth it. Books are meant to be read like books, not like web pages. So you're gonna want a tablet, and luckily, you don't need the latest and greatest tablet in order to enjoy reading comics. You can get away with using a tablet that's two to three years old. Comics are not very processor heavy, and they don't take up a lot of hard drive space, and even if they do, it's very easy to manage, just as long as you make sure to back them up. It doesn't even really matter the size of the tablet either. Most small ones are seven inches, while the larger ones are between nine and 10 inches. Both work perfectly fine. Now you may want to lean towards a tablet with a much higher resolution and more pixels per inch, this way you get a much more clear image. But I've been using a first generation Kindle Fire since I got it in 2012. And while the resolution and pixel count may be a little low, especially by today's standards, it's everything I need. I can see everything just fine. Now I did mention a smartphone as an option back in the intro. And while it certainly is a choice, it's not necessarily the best when it comes to DRM free comics. While most cloud-based comic apps like Comixology, Madefire, or Dark Horse have a guided view function, DRM free comic apps generally don't have that. They have good zoom features, but they're not automatic like Comixology. They're all manual. You have to zoom in on everything yourself. If you are going to read comics on your phone, make sure it's a phone with a larger screen, like a 4.7 or a 5.5 inch screen, the new iPhone, Samsung Galaxy phones, phones like that. Then turn your phone in landscape mode like this and just scroll up. Kind of like how you would read a normal comic starting from the top and working your way down. Some books this could affect the artwork, but in my experience this is the best way to read a DRM free comic on your phone. But honestly, if you can go tablet, go tablet. There really is no contest here. Now what are DRM free comics as I probably should have mentioned in the beginning of this episode? Well basically they're files not married to any specific program. They're either a PDF, a CBR, or a CBZ file that you can read in any comic reader app of your choice. And there are hundreds of comic reader apps available both for free and at a cost. And while there's nothing wrong with many of the free ones, I find that actually paying a little more gets you a much more robust app. Now for the iPhone, I've been using Comic Seal. It's a little pricey at $5, but it's got a great user interface, good cataloging, and it works for iPhone and iPad. It's really the only comics app you need on iOS. For Android and Kindle Fire, I recommend Comicat. It's $3 and it also has a great UI and cataloging and things like that. So where do you get DRM free comics? Well, believe it or not, Comixology does offer DRM free backups of most of their stuff on their store. With the exception of the big two, most major publishers offer DRM free backups of their comics. And 90% of all indie publishers do. Also, companies like Image and 2000AD offer PDFs and CBRs of their comics directly from their website. And the people who run the Humble Bundle have been offering name your own price comic collections. They've offered Image Bundles, Valiant Bundles, Star Wars Comic Bundles, all for whatever price you want to pay, all DRM free. There are also some other places to get DRM free comics, but I'm not going to mention them on the show, and I assume you already know about them because you're a savvy internet user. So in the end, there really isn't a right way or a wrong way to read digital comics. Whatever works best for you is the route you should go. And I personally use both Comixology and DRM free comics just to keep my options open. I like having choice. But again, everybody's different, so just make sure you pick what's right for you. And what is right for you? Let me know down below or anywhere on social media. Tell me about your digital comic buying experiences. Do you like going DRM free or do you prefer Comixology and places like that? Please no physical versus digital debates. I don't care. And as always, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, share this video with your friends. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And yeah, on the surface, Batman is a clear answer, but once you start digging a little deeper, it becomes much less appealing. First of all, he is sad and lonely all the damn time. He has no real human connection with anybody except for Alfred. There were problems uh, transferring your old data, your old multiplayer data over the new systems, from the old systems to the new system. Okay, well, um, that, that I could understand. I don't even think we need to go into what's going on with Assassin's Creed Unity. 